Hey guys, what's up? My name is George and uh, this is my Savior story. Um, I always grew up in church, like most people. I'm just an average guy, really. I <laughs> went to school, <clears throat> had friends. Um, my mom ditched me when I was uh, five for drugs or whatever, and that kind of left things a little bit hairy. So my dad, <laughs> my dad actually raised, get this, five kids by, by himself. And uh, I respect that man a lot. <clears throat> um, I always knew who Christ was and I always prayed to him, but it was more like I was talking to the air, right? Um, but then something happened in my life. Uh, I didn't have, I had, I had one brother, but he was out of the house. So I had like, grew up with three sisters, I grew up with girls. <laughs> yeah, lots of Barbie dolls, <laughs> let me tell you. But um, anyways, I had this one guy cousin, and his, uh, his name was Matthew. He would come over sometime, and uh, you know, we got close and everything. And then, uh, well, you know, long story short, uh, well, he molested me. And ever since then, I have uh, struggled with homosexuality. You know, so many times people say that I shouldn't talk about this, right? That this is not something you should probably put on a video or whatever, right? Um, definitely the enemy will try to discourage people like my story and say, you can't say that. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not really worried about what politically correct is. I'm telling the truth. But uh, besides that fact, so I've been struggling with this. I still struggle with, with this to this day. Um, it's really hard. It, uh, it doesn't never really go away. It's just like any other sin. It's not abnormal at all. Um, for those who are, uh, you know, homophobe, it's not, it's just like any other sin, just like smoking, just like drugs, whatever. And I wish people would understand this because there's so many people out there who are hurting and who are, you know, they've actually turned gay and it's sad, you know, because they see, I see coming out stories as, you know, giving up stories and that saddens me. That's like, no, that, that's not right. You, why'd you give up on the fight? You got Christ right behind you. And I'll be honest, there, there are times where I, even I, sometimes I want to give up. Because giving up, it'd be so, so much easier to give up. So much easier just to, just to give up and say, okay, God, this is me. This is me. I'm just going to do this. But Christ has so much more for you. If you're struggling with homosexuality, man, I'm telling you, you, you aren't alone in this fight. It may seem like you are. It may seem like you can't tell your family. It may seem like you can't tell your friends. Or if they found out anyone in school, you would be so picked on even more than you already are now. But there is hope in Christ. When you press into that presence, there is so much hope and there is a love that is so profound that it will overcome that. Now, like I said, will it go away just like that? It can, but usually God helps you fight through it so you can get stronger. Because Romans 8, 28, all things um, happen for the good but for God, who, for those who love God. So I don't consider my story as a uh, woe is me story. I consider my story as look what God has done. I used to be this person. <clears throat> I used to be this guy who had to keep a secret, who had to say, oh, I can't, I can't tell people this because they're just going to judge me. And now look where I'm at. I'm still a sinner. I'm like Paul. I consider myself the worst of sinners, the chief of sinners. But I'm speaking out. Because honestly, I'm tired, of, uh, I'm tired of people getting this wrong and just putting people down about this. It's a very serious subject. Well, that's mainly my story. Uh, I'm a 19-year-old guy. I live in Meridian, Mississippi. <laughs> uh, ain't, much not, ain't nothing much to it, though. Um, God loves you, and I know I love you. Uh, take care, and peace out.